guys, it's Chef Gib, and today I'm making you my not too spicy for your mama's lettuce cups. These are so easy and so simple. You can use anything for the filling. You can use fruits, nuts, meats, leftovers, anything you want can go inside these lettuce cups. So what you're gonna need is just a few uh, ingredients, some leftover chicken, some avocado. If you let the avocado sit out, they start to get brown. So to, to, to prevent that, just take a lemon, and squeeze some of the juice on top. And the acids will help preserve everything inside the avocado. No problems with browning. I have some uh, cherry tomatoes that I quartered, some shredded carrots, some bell peppers, uh, red bell peppers that I just uh, diced. And right now, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take about, let's say half of the mozzarella, as I'm just gonna start to cube it Kind of thick slices. This mozzarella is amazing because Hoboken, where I live in Hoboken, Hoboken is known for its mozzarella. In fact, we even have a mozzarella festival called Mutzas, where this year I was a judge. So I got this fresh from the deli, and the mozzarella in Hoboken is second to none. We love our mutts. And you can use any other cheese that you want, but I go with mutts because it's so iconic to Hoboken. So I have just cubed all of the mozzarella that we have. So in a large bowl, I'm just gonna add our mozzarella cheese. I'm gonna add our avocado. I'm gonna add a chicken. And this is about like a pound and a half of just plain chicken. Some tomatoes. Some carrots. And we're just gonna toss this up. And I know what you're thinking right now, this probably tastes really bland, but what we're gonna do is right now we're gonna add some salt. And we're also gonna make a vinaigrette to go with this. And now we're just gonna add half of a lemon. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our vinaigrette. So when you're making a vinaigrette, you always wanna start with the thickest things and end with streaming in olive oil. Take two tablespoons of Dijon mustard, I hope that you guys like this burrito shirt. Kind of ironic because we're kind of making burritos. A tablespoon of honey, but also we have uh, about two teaspoons of a blue agave nectar. And that adds such an amazing sweetness. Okay, and what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna whisk it. And then we're gonna add in some red wine vinegar. You wanna stream in olive oil. And the key to this is whisking it a lot and only streaming just a little bit so it all can get incorporated. Like let's say you put olive oil and vinegar into a bottle. You leave that bottle alone, they separate. So by adding it little by little, it keeps it from separating a little bit longer. Add some salt. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is good. We're gonna take our filling and we're just gonna drizzle the vinaigrette all over it and you don't want to make too much of this and so it overpowers the natural flavors of all of the veggies that are in this and then we're just gonna mix it up Ooh, this looks good but now the most important part to a lettuce cup is the lettuce cup I use uh, iceberg lettuce and a little trick for getting this out is if you just smash it on the counter, just like the smashing takes out the core. And now everything just kind of unfolds. See all that that holds all of it together? See how it's very brittle? You don't want that. Is you're just gonna peel it off. It's good if it has a couple holes. Take a little bit of our filling. And we're just gonna kind of fold it in. So it makes kind of a cup shape. And now, see like when you eat it, you're gonna hold it kind of like this in the palm of your hand so it kind of makes a cup. A little bit of salt on top. A little squeeze of lemon. And now, the taste test. Mmm. <laughs> I can't even talk. This is so good. The avocado with the lettuce, it adds a crunch, but
but then there's so much textural balance. It's just amazing. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you check out my channel, Gibson Borelli, A Kid in the Kitchen. Like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to see all of these recipes and more in full, check out my website, GibsonBorelli.com. Well, I had such a great time doing this, and I hope that you learned something. Well, I'll see you next time. Bye.